So what do you think about what LeBron is saying? I mean, essentially, he's saying that the, the media has been so hypocritical on this. I think what LeBron said is absolutely right. And it was fair because the truth is that when black athletes make a mistake, and I would say this applies to black public figures really in general, the the harshness, the consistency, the the just beating it to the ground that happens with black athletes, it, it's there. It's it's ever present in the media. And this is not to say that there should be no room for accountability, of course, but it seems that it just is nonstop and over and over and over again. And it's constant. I'm old enough to remember when reporters asked LeBron James about the genocide in Darfur. They asked him about Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick does not play in the NBA. He is an NFL athlete. To my knowledge, they had no relationship. They asked him a ton of questions about that. And so for them to then just skip over this, particularly since LeBron James used to be a Cowboys fan, and he explained somewhat recently the reason he isn't is because of how Jerry Jones responded to Colin Kaepernick's protest. So there was a legitimate reason to ask him about Jerry Jones. I can't speak to how Jerry Jones feels about racism. I'm not here to answer whether or not he's a racist or not. I don't know the man, so I can't say. But what I can say is that when people look at your actions and they know you were a part of this very awful history, and you could try to minimize it by saying, oh, I was just curious or not, it's beyond curiosity because the fact is everybody knew what time it was during this. So what were you doing there? And yeah. he has not credibly answered this question at all. And so I think, you know, the difference in him and Kyrie in the treatment is not only a failure by the media, it's also a difference in power. Kyrie, by, you know, he's a, he's a worker in the NFL, mm -hmm. Jerry, or in the NBA. Jerry Jones is an owner. And as an owner, he gets to dictate the rules of engagement, so to speak. He also doesn't have to answer to the media as often as Kyrie, as Kyrie Irving does. We broke a story several years ago um, about Donald Sterling. a racist owner of a basketball team, Donald Sterling. And the reaction on that was pretty profound, where uh, the NBA, I think it was the first time that any sport has ever taken away ownership um, based on what somebody had said. So I'm wondering if you view football as different than basketball, because the media did jump on that story. To be honest, and if we go back to look at what really got Donald Sterling out of the league, a big com a component of that was that the players made it known that they were not going to tolerate him being in the league and there yeah. may be a boycott behind it. That was huge because it was LeBron James and Chris Paul. It was very much the faces of the league leading that charge. On the NFL side, the players don't have the same level of autonomy. They're not in a guaranteed contract structure. Football is a sport of conformity by nature. And I do think the way that the media covers both leagues is inherently different because the, M the NFL is a owner's league. The NBA is a player's league. And that shows up in, in coverage a lot of the times. I mean, look at Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Washington Commanders. The list of things that this guy has done is very long. And he's still sitting in a position of ownership because the other owners are going to cover for him. And there's no player led movement trying to get him out of there so he can sit comfortably in the seat that he's in without any retribution or any consequences whatsoever.